down to getting her done. Packing that dirt. We'll keep that pole nice and tight, straight, so her panels don't fly off with her. Taking turns in that nice packed set of panels is going to go right on top of that pole with the mounting bracket. We'll show it to you all when it's up and done. We're just about finished up packing that hole. That's down a good three feet, maybe a little more. And concrete base, pack all around the concrete. Uh, not an easy task at all. But wait till you see it all done in those panels and how they move and adjust. Um, we need to patent that idea. It's actually going to work out really well. So thank you for watching and stay along. Scott hard at work. All right, you're live. Well, we're tightening up the solar panels. It's on its mat, on its mount. Um, you want to come around to the back side. Scott's inside the center of it triangulated for the maximum support. It's got a kickers on the bottom that are adjustable. And we'll do that here in just a second here for you. We got the panels tightened to the front. We made a box frame up at the top. Multiple contact points. It's mounted here using these heavy bolts into what used to be a satellite dish mount. Out of the mount, it comes into this heavy pole. We sunk down deep in the ground, as we showed you earlier. And then off that pole, we got a fence clamp here with these adjustable sliders. Right now, we would guess that's probably pretty close for the uh, winter angle. But we're still in the summer, and our sunlight is up here, so we'll show you how that adjusts. We got a... Here, and... We gotta, we gotta loosen these up here too. Pull your that a little more. Pull that. Or sit some tight. Now pull out. There you go. Okay. And we gotta adjust this up here. Okay. How about that wrench? Um, I got it. In, yep, I got it. You can see here, um, we're right in high day sun, so how's that? Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Pretty dang close. Okay. So let me down. Tighten these down. These can also be adjusted for this be raised. This can be raised up and down on this pipe to give this more of an angle depending on the location of the sun. So we just simply, just like you would do your satellite, and you adjust it for the angle to receive the satellite. We adjust it here for the panels to get the maximum amount of light. It can be turned to the east or west to get the... Hmm. We'll show that here. I'll back up so they can show it. it well, let's start with uh, all the other contact points here. Mm -hmm. Sitting here, tighten this all up, and the more here but this simple bolt here can be loosened and tightened down can be adjusted up and down to raise your elevation and then 
be loosened here at this single contact point and the whole array can be adjusted to catch the morning sun, afternoon sun, and evening sun. This way is where the sun comes up, right towards the camera, and it sets over the opposite corner. Yeah, loosen this up here, real easy. And then the whole thing can be moved for the morning sun, tighten back up with that single connection. And then when come back to the evening, simply rotate it again. Whoa, whoa, stop. There you go. And then you tighten that back up. And now we're going to get the evening setting sun on the new mount for the solar array. There you go. There you go. So, we definitely thank you for watching today. Uh, this did take a bit of, quite a bit of our time. We're going to finish up cleaning up here. Uh, the poles in the ground very deep. Um, shouldn't have any problem as time goes on and rain. That must be more like concrete because believe us, when we had to dig through it, it was like busting up concrete. <laughs> so, Welcome to Arkansas. <laughs> yes. uh, we'll go ahead and clean that up. We thank you for watching Off Grid Arky and the rest of us here setting her up for winter. Okay, it's getting to be evening time here at the Arky's Off Grid Cabin. and I just want to give you a quick look at the panels in the distance. As the sun sets down on them, and I'm turned clear to the east there as the sun sets. We got the uh, campfire going. We got some water on the fire, start burning, boiling. I'm sorry, start boiling. We're getting ready for the seven o'clock campfire chat where some of us on Pal Talk. Anyone's always welcome at any of our Pal Talk um, conversations. We're actually going to be doing a campfire chat here with our the Pal Talk group, and you're welcome to join that at any time. I know the video won't be up for you to join us for this one, but that the Pal Talk is just a simple program that you would download. It's a open mic type situation. We have a few things we ask that you raise your hand to speak and things like that but you can actually speak and and hear others speak you can also type with a chat log and there is video capabilities we will be having a video running here at this tonight at the campfire chat but you can always welcome and check us out at paltalk.com download the program and the page or the room is called off grid living simple enough you just go on the search bar for chat rooms and put in off grid living and, and you can actually uh, just put in off grid and jeep girl says you can even just put in off grid and it will pull it right up for you so it'll be, it'll be the only option <laughs> but in the future i know it won't be for this video here because this won't get uploaded until we're actually back but we do ask you know if you anytime you want to join us at the pal talk Usually in the evening, uh, 8, 9 Eastern Time, 7, 8 Central, usually. We have that um, uh, someone, usually in that room, out of the uh, YouTube community uh, for off-grid living is there. And we would always uh, enjoy new faces to come in and, and join us. But I just want to give you a, a quick update here of... Uh, off-grid Jeep and off-grid Jeep girl visiting off-grid Arky and Scott and we're all <laughs> yeah we're all off-grid <laughs> off we, we could just say Arky Jeep and Jeep girl <laughs> and uh, but we we sure glad that uh, we could uh, come up here and have this experience with her and uh, getting these jobs done the roof is uh, got all cleared off 
The solar panels got mounted. I mean, that's just beautiful sitting out there. It is. Y'all did awesome. And uh, I know that's going to make Arky very happy because now she can go out there and just move the the track and track the sun throughout the day. And She's as she gets alone when we leave her, <laughs> <laughs> she'll uh, she'll be able to get out there and track the sun. And when as she adds more batteries. The more sunlight is going to be more valuable to her to get all those charged and more things she's going to be able to do. I know she's really excited about that. And winter's coming and she's going to have that uh, that capability to sustain out here that whole time. We also uh, been cleaning up out here. And uh, it took a whole day just to burn the stuff up off the roof. But we got it all cleared up and... It's actually still just smoldering over in the corner out there. And uh, we got our little tent set up there in the corner. The big thing is we also got the windows done. That took... Um, Wouldn't be anything I hadn't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Was there really anything I hadn't seen before? But uh, <laughs> we thank you. We need to keep this BG for the uh, YouTube Oh, community. the video! Hey, 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 hey. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> I still turn my back there. Oh, we hide. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated as we further go along here. And we're going to get ready to have our campfire chat here. And um, hope to see many of our normals there. And, and anytime anybody else is welcome to join us. <laughs> Off Grid Living is the room. PowTalk.com is the site. Have a wonderful day.